What up, what up, y'all? It's your boy. Y'all already know my name. Hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Let's talk about this situation. All right, so we have um, more details of the mass shooting in Texas. They have other shootings and that people are trying to do. We're talking about the recent one that went to the elementary. The uh, Hispanic kid, 18 years old, they said he got bullied at school, talked about his clothes and whatnot. He said he said he got tired of it. And so he um, he bought some firearms and some armor and went to go kill. Not the people that bullied him. Other people that had nothing to do with bullying him. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Makes no damn sense. So. We're backwards. The story just keeps... It's more information, more information, more information. Well, one, one of the new parts to this story is the cops went in there and got their own kids out and then went back outside and fought the parents who wanted to go in and save their children too. Hold on, I know, I know I got some more juice. There we go. Um, what? Hold on. There we go. He sent you. Who sent you? He sent you who sent you. Who in the hell signed up to be an officer, protect and serve, and then you had the nerve to go get your own kids, then get them to safety, and then stop the other parents for saving their own kids. What? What, 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 wait, 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 what? It's funny how they didn't put that in the headlines. It's funny how they didn't make sure that we seen and heard that that the officers stopped parents from saving their kids and they went to go save their own kids oh it's funny how they didn't put that in the headline it had to seep out into social media then it became a big headline now let's listen to the sergeant try to explain no 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 it's right it's right it's right it was the wrong move no, no, no. In training, we know it was the wrong move. Let's listen to this idiot. See, they always try to trick. Oh, oh, oh it gets better, too. We're going to talk about how their story changed. Hey, the benefit of hindsight. Hey, the benefit of hey, stand by, stand by. Hey, stand by. Hey, stand by. All right, I got it. I got, I got it. Okay. Hey, from the from the benefit of hindsight, where I'm sitting now, that of course it was not the right decision. It was a wrong decision. Period. There's no no excuse for that. But again, I wasn't there. But I'm just telling you, from what we know, that we believe there should have been an entry at that as soon as you can. Hey, when there's an active shooter, the, the rules change. It's no longer okay. It's no longer a barricaded subject. We don't have time. You don't worry about matter primers. And by the way, Texas embraces active shooter training. You hear that? So the people are upward. When the, when the troops start coming out about them leaving the kids to hang out to dry. When the troops start hitting social media that they leaving the kids out there to dry. While they saved their own kids. And then they took about almost an hour to even try to do anything. And one of the reasons was, well, the door was locked. You rammed the door with a car. You rammed the door with a car. Or you have SWAT with that, that, bar that thing that they knock down doors when they want to pick up fugitives. When they want to pick up criminals. When they want to pick up people on the run, they know how to knock doors down. But now that you're in a situation where a person is is uh, killing kids, 
you have no idea how to break down doors. Is that what you're saying? Because if this was a fugitive, you would have got inside that damn school. If this was a criminal who's running and hiding himself in the school and the doors are locked, somehow you would have figured out how to open the door. But since you want to do what you want to do, and then now the public is seeing that you didn't do everything you supposed to do to save how many kids you could have saved. You made sure the officers got their kids out and told the parents they can't go save their kids. How dare you tell the parents they're not allowed to go save their own kids. And you know what's crazy is? They was arresting parents who told them to do their job. They had the nerve to get mad, pepper spray, tackle, beat and arrest parents who told them, do your job, get your butt in there now. My babies are in there. Our babies, get in there. They waited almost an hour. Get your ass in there. You, you took on this job for these situations. Get in there. We, we have, no. What you just heard this sergeant do is lie on national TV. This person, this person said, things change when there's an active shooter. Then at the end, oh, we, we uh, what did he say? We welcome or something like that, uh, sh uh, shooting training. Sir, that's all part of the program. Going into an active situation of shooting is part of the training that you guys do when you want to become these type of officers. Of course, audibles happen during events. That's common sense. But your tactics don't change. You you practice for these type of events. What do you mean? When you get there, there's an active, there's an active shooter. There's no long, there's, there's no long barricade, sir. You got called there not for a barricade. You got called there for shooting. You didn't get called there. There's a person who barricaded himself in here. And, no, you got called in there for shooting. They called you because he was hurting people, not because he was holding people hostage. The call wasn't. He's holding us hostage. That wasn't the call. The call was shooting. And you had the nerve to say, things change because the barricade in there. Now it's no longer barricade. He's an active shooter. You always supposed to prepare for the worst. Isn't that part of training? Preparing for the worst is part of training. Now all of a sudden, you don't want to admit that y'all failed training. Then at the end, you want to have the nerve. We welcome that type of training. No, you don't because you would have did it. It's real sad in this world. Man. It's real sad in this world. Man. That people take on jobs that have the nerve to say, nah, not today. You don't take on a certain job to call protect and serve and have the nerve to say, not today. Y'all can go save y'all kids, but you parents, you can't save yours. Luckily, this one woman who was so irate that they was sitting there while people, children was dying. She went off on them. They handcuffed her. Somehow she was able to convince them, let her go. She ran on the other side of the school, jumped the fence and got her kids out of there. And said, come on, babies, let's go. You're supposed to let all those parents who want to do that, you're supposed to let them do it. Remember, you guys chose to not go. How can you tell the parents they can't? This is the stupidest, one of the dumbest things I ever seen in my life. You go to the scene and you sit there while shots is getting rained out. They telling you, they're killing, he's killing babies. You still sit there timid, waiting. Then you tell the parents that they can't save, they can't be heroes to save their own kids. So the cops can save their kids, but the parents got to sit there. See, that is the problem with authority. Authority needs to know when to listen to the what? Community! Isn't that why we're here? Authority to listen to the community. When the community said, 
Just let us go get our kids. We gonna live or die. You supposed to let them do it. Stupid. If you don't want to do it, how dare you tell the community of parents who got their kids in there to say that they're not allowed to go save them, even though we signed up to save them. You can't go save them, even though we're going to sit right here and wait and be and just teeter and totter. But if that was a fugitive in that school, you would have broke down the doors to get them. If, the, if that person in there didn't have any weapon, you would have broke down the doors to get them. There was an incident months ago where they broke in someone's house and there was a shootout and the, the guy who they was looking for wasn't even him. But they broke in the house without knocking because that was one of the addresses. Do you see where I'm going with this? When you pull up to a situation, you're supposed to, ex like this, you expect the worst. They go to people's houses and knock down doors and have shootouts. You don't know if they got a weapon, so they prepare themselves. Why do you think they go to the door like this? Because it could, anything can happen. So but when they report that this is happening, you stay away from the door? You signed up to risk your life to save people. Why are you not knocking the door down? Run through the door. Crash through the door. If there was drugs in there, you would have crashed through the door. Somehow, y'all want to play like we don't know this. Mm -mm. They all need to be fired. The community needs to start getting revenge on authority. Authority loves to tell the community anything they want. Authority will come to your house and never give you an explanation. It's time for the communities to start giving it right back to the authorities. They sat there and lied on national TV. Oh yeah, we tried this and we tried that. Come to find out they didn't try a goddamn thing. They lied on national TV. Yeah, we tried everything we could. No, you didn't. Come to find out they did the bare minimum. They did the bare minimum? But if there's a drug bust... They ready to have a shootout with the person inside? If there's a fugitive that has outstanding warrant, they're ready to have a shootout with the outstanding warrant person? But there's a person who's actually shooting? And we're talking about Texas, who said you don't have to have a uh, license to carry. This is Texas who gave you the right to carry all these weapons. Now they don't want to back it up. They don't want to save nobody. No. No, no. Essentia. Who sent you? <coughs> they really let some of those babies die. On purpose. No, allegedly. They did it on purpose. They signed up for something and said, we taking today off. And we see that all the time, don't we? The buffalo killing, if that was a black guy on the killing spree, do you believe that they would have just said, hey, sir, we're here, put it down? If the buffalo killed cops, do you think they would have they killed his ass too? So they let this massacre in Buffalo stay alive, but that massacre in Texas is dead. What is the what's, what's 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 going on? All mass shooters do do not deserve trial. They deserve to get popped too, don't they? I'm confused. If you attack cops, they want to give you the the top the worst punishment by death. If they can, they're gonna light you up. If they can light, they're gonna light your ass up, and then they'll figure out the details later. A lot of people lost their lives because they don't want to go to jail. They wasn't threats and you popped them anyway. They don't want to go to jail with a speeding kit ticket. Then you end up popping at them anyway. But there's somebody who's harming innocent people. And you have the nerve to be timid about it. Authorities around the world, not all, but most, will attack innocent people in the heartbeat because they know they're defenseless. Then you got people out there harming other people. And you want to play timid games? Crazy. 
Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think and feel about this new update that they let some of those babies die that they could have saved. And they didn't let the parents. They fought the parents for saving their own kids while they didn't want to save them. Y'all let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Notification bell, man. Cash app, SoulMirror29. PayPal, SuicideX29. I'll see y'all next video. Bang!